Okay, so here we are with our 2011 middleweight adventure touring comparison. Got the BMW F800 GS and Triumph's new Tiger XC, also an 800. Beyond the engines, though, is what we're really trying to figure out are the differences between these bikes because even visually they are very similar. You know, from a little distance, I mean, you can't quite tell them apart. The BMW was here first, right, Pete? Yeah. Triumph just came out, so we're maybe Triumph copied them a little bit, but we're trying to figure out did Triumph do a better job, or is BMW still the better adventure tour bike builder? So here we are on uh, Coast Ridge Road outside Big Sur, California, and what we've come to find out is the key differences to these two motorcycles that are extremely similar, but yet they have a purpose that suits an individual uh, wanting to purchase one of these bikes. It blew me away when I started looking at these two more closely and just how much Triumph benchmarked the F800 GS. But in our time of street and rugged forest service road uh, what we've discovered is that they have some you know, unique traits of their own that are definitive in terms of separating the two machines the triumph has uh, what is this in essence a street motorcycle engine that triumph built a adventure tour around bmw a little more specific with the uh, f800 parallel twin and some things to point out there where uh, BMW's GS heritage plays in uh, to this motorcycle. Uh, the engine and the rear suspension and linkage are a lot higher off the ground, so there's more ground clearance with the F800 than there is with the Triumph. Now, we didn't really experience that as a genuine drawback in most of the areas we rode, but I've ridden the F800 in a lot more rugged conditions, and that will certainly play a key uh, for the rider that's going to go off-road, single track, gnarly, nasty stuff. However, so you might suspect that maybe we're hedging the F800 is maybe a little better off-road machine, and that's true, but we get a little tit for tat with the Triumph, and uh, I think that speaks to its engine, right? The Triumph is surprisingly competent off-road. It is a slightly heavier bike, but the key factor to the BMW is that it carries its fuel your uh, intake is back here and it's carrying this fuel down low which when you're standing up and you're riding over some of these rougher roads and doing some inclines uh, you can feel the weight difference where the Triumph you know is carrying his fuel up high it just makes it feel heavy and heavier. Pete you were saying like this has a little bit more dirt bike feeling engine which uh, for a person who likes that if you're more dirt bike oriented which is fantastic I mean I felt myself using the clutch lever a little bit more to give myself you know a smooth you know grip of power when I needed it where the, tri uh, the Triumph I was able to modulate the power a lot more just using the throttle and I think that's again because you're using a three-cylinder compared to the twin. Correct. Where we probably appreciated the Triumph's engine most is on pavement. This is, in essence, a, uh, a larger displaced 675 from the, uh, the Street Triples. And well, we sure do appreciate the extra horsepower and torque and smooth power delivery. The BMW, while a perfectly well handling road motorcycle, has sufficient power. Because it's a parallel twin, it's going to come into its uh, power band a lot quicker, has a shorter rev range, and as you get near the top of the rev range or higher road speeds, the old vibes really come through uh, that are characteristic of parallel twins. We don't have that with the street triple based Tiger 800. Yeah, uh, Kevin Duke was asking me the other day about kind of like what were my initial preferences between the bikes and what I uh, was telling him is that, you know, if you take the touring aspect and highlight that and you're going distance, you know, that vibration thing's going to come to play. And as far as, you know, doing a uh, long time in the saddle, you know, a lot of miles, you know, this is a more, say, you know, touring oriented bike where you're going to sit a little bit more comfortably. You, I mean, there is no vibration. It's amazing. This They, they, they have smoothed this uh, three-cylinder out completely. Some things that uh, you see mounted on here that aren't standard, but we went ahead and, and got them anyway uh, because it's 
really part of what an adventure package is about is the luggage. Yeah, I mean, if you're adventure touring, obviously you need some place to carry your gear. And both these bikes, you know, come with uh, OEM equipment. We have the soft top box on here. Triumph does have a hard top box, just like their hard saddle bags. Uh, the BMW, we have, you know, the uh, hard mounted bags all around. Where we find the big drawback is with the Triumph, uh, is their mounting system. It's an easy on off one key same from the uh, ignition key to unlock it but the problem is is the mounting down here is the back end of this motorcycle literally sounds like it's falling off when you're going you know down a dirt road or I mean even just a fire road it, it, they're just wiggling all over the place. The BMWs on the other hand nice solid mount they still come off extremely easy you know just a key a little lever pops right out. I appreciate the Beamer's bags um, more than the Triumphs, but with the exception of the uh, seemingly un under-engineered mounting system for the Triumph saddlebags, otherwise I was really impressed with them. Okay, so I think what we've learned is uh, although they're a lot alike, uh, there are some characteristics that make them different and it's probably going to appeal to the different type of rider that's uh, Maybe more street oriented uh, for the Triumph. And maybe we'll do a little bit of fire road riding, but the guy that likes to look, maybe even for the single track, might better appreciate the F800. With the BMW, you get the standard package, meaning it's an up trim level, which includes ABS, heated grips, and BMW's onboard computer system uh, for their uh, dash system. Retails 12,900. 800 XC. With ABS, 11799. Yeah, you really need to stop and take inventory of what you perceive your riding to be. I mean, these guys are very similar. Um, there is a, you know, a significant price difference. You're talking, you know, $1,000, $1,200 in retail price. But the Triumph, again, as a the brand new kid on the block, and as like I said, they're very similar. So we know that Triumph, where it got its inspiration, um, they've done a good job for you know a first model out of the box to take on something uh, that is well known in its category, uh, such as the GS.